Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about Wi-Fi 6 also known as AX Wi-Fi or 802.11X Wi-Fi standard. Wi-Fi 6 builds and improves on the current 802.11 AC Wi-Fi standard commonly known as Wi-Fi 5. Wi-Fi 6 is faster, more efficient and has better data transfer techniques than previous generations, however, this wasn't its main goal. Wi-Fi 6 was originally built in response to the growing number of devices in the world that ensured that the Wi-Fi performed better even when a lot of devices are connected to it. Today, in our households, there are so many devices which use Wi-Fi such as smartphones, computers, laptops, smart TVs, security cameras, light switches, gaming tools, and so much more. With so many devices competing for the network, it could slow down the Wi-Fi signal, and this is the sole purpose for development of Wi-Fi 6. Let's look at the advantages of Wi-Fi 6 over the previous versions of Wi-Fi. Firstly, Wi-Fi 6 offers explosively fast Wi-Fi up to 9.6 gigabits per second, which provides ultra-smooth streaming as compared to Wi-Fi 5, which offers up to 6 gigabits per second. This is because it uses four times longer symbol 160 megahertz channel, 1024 QAM against 256 QAM. QAM is the quadrature amplitude modulation. Secondly, Wi-Fi 6 offers four times more capacity for more devices, which makes it ideal for crowded networks because it can handle more devices flawlessly with its 8x8 uplink slash downlink. Both Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 5 have multi-user, multiple input and multiple output, which is a wireless technology which allows a router to transmit data to multiple devices simultaneously. Thirdly, Wi-Fi 6 offers more speed and greater stability. This is because of its four times longer OFDM that divides data among smaller subcarriers for more stability and wider coverage. This enables Wi-Fi 6 to pack more data since it uses 10-bit symbol carriers rather than 8 bits. Furthermore, the Wi-Fi 6 standard uses OFDMA for increased efficiency. Because of this, the Wi-Fi signal has no latency. We use the example of delivery trucks delivering data packets to your devices. With Wi-Fi 5, each delivery truck could only deliver one parcel to one device at time, but with OFDMA, each truck can deliver multiple parcels to multiple devices simultaneously. This vast improvement works for both uploads and downloads. Wi-Fi 6 offers more bandwidth on a wider channel. It expands the Wi-Fi band from 80 MHz to 160 MHz, doubling the channel width and creating a faster connection from your router to the device. This means with Wi-Fi 6, large file downloads and uploads will not experience any buffering. With Wi-Fi 6, there are minimal conflicts with your neighbor. Interference from your neighbor's wireless networks can cause issues with your signal. The base service station, BSS, color marks frames from neighboring networks so that your router can ignore them. This means a Wi-Fi 6 router is more efficient. Finally, Wi-Fi 6 has less power consumption due to target wake time feature, TWT, which allows devices to negotiate when and how often they will wake up to send or receive data, increasing the device sleep time and substantially improving battery life. So, if you have a lot of devices that require Wi-Fi, then you will benefit the most by getting a Wi-Fi 6 router, but ensure that they are compatible to Wi-Fi 6 signals. Thank you for watching.